You are listening to Proof Text, a Glossa House podcast exploring scripture and all things related to it. New episodes are released daily. For more information, check out glossahouse.com and subscribe to our channels on Spotify and YouTube. Welcome and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Proof Text. I'm Michael Halcom and this is an episode of Hebrew vocabulary, which means that we're thinking about how to grow our Hebrew vocabulary. Now, in this episode, this brief episode, we're thinking about the Hebrew root nifah, nun pe lamed, nun pe lamed, nifah. And right out of the gate, um, I have an easy mnemonic device for this because the word nifal means to fall. And so um, you, you have the word fall literally embedded after the n. So the nifal uh, means to fall in Hebrew. All right, so if you're watching, I'm going to pull up stepbible.org and just really quickly, we'll look at a few examples in the Hebrew Old Testament. And um, if you're just listening, that's fine, too. Uh, here's stepbible.org, and I have my, I'm going to hit the search button, set my keyboard to Hebrew, and then in the search bar, I'm going to start typing in Nifal, and boom, there we go. You see that we have um, several related forms, but we're interested mainly in uh, the first two, which are almost the same, Nifal and Nifal. And you can see that uh, nifal, they both mean the same thing, just different forms. Nifal uh, occurs about uh, 447 times in the Old Testament. Let's go ahead and click this verb. Our first instance occurs in Genesis 2.21, where it looks different. Now, remember in Hebrew, when you have words that start, words that are roots that start with an N, a nun, uh, oftentimes when they meet with another letter, uh, they're going to drop out or morph or transform. Uh, that's essentially happening because of phonological rules. Okay, so um, that's what's happening here in Genesis 2.21. Uh, we have the Vayafel. Uh, so you're like, where's that noon? Well, um, it's essentially replaced or swallowed up, whatever here, transformed by the Yod. So we have Vayafel, vaya, um, vaya, vayapel, rather, vayapel, because it's got the dagesh in the middle, vayapel. Um, and then in Genesis 4, 5, we have vayipelu, vayipelu. And then there we go in Genesis 4, 6, nafelu, nafelu. And Genesis 14, 10, vayipelu, vayipelu. We got another noon here at the start. See, it's, it's retained. It's not met with anything, um, any kind of prefix. Um, so we have nafela, and we have it again, nofelet, in the same verse, Genesis fifteen twelve, nafela, <coughs> and nofelet. And then Genesis seventeen three, we have um, vayipol. Same thing in 1717, vayipol, vayipol. And in Genesis 2464, this is kind of interesting. We have vaitipol, vaitipol. And then here's our last one, 2518. That this is the last one we're going to look at. We have nafal. Um, so remember that nafal means to fall. Um, and uh yeah so we're gonna stop here and uh yeah we'll say uh, remember that mnemonic device in the fall fall right um we'll stop here and we'll say we hope that helps interested in growing your ancient language skills but not sure where to start glows house can help from illustrated readers and short stories to lexicons and grammars Glossa House offers a variety of resources for beginning, intermediate, and experienced ancient language learners. Head to glossahouse.com today. Glossa House, language resources for the global community.